Welcome to Mechanic. Today here in Mechanic, we have our 2020 Honda Civic 1.5 liter motor in it. And we're having an issue where we can't start the vehicle and we also can't change the gear selector. And one thing we have also on here, we have the the drive park and indicator. So when you put your vehicle into drive or park, it'll tell you right there up the top, um, right above the number two on your tachometer. So we've had an OBD, we have a, the UCAN2, the OBD2 scanner hooked up, and we have done a full system scan. Um, tried to do just the uh, automatic transmission scan, but it won't communicate with the transmission because there's something wrong. So we did a full system scan, and in the engine control, got a few other codes on here, but the engine control system, we have that the TCM and PCM, as well as the PCM and TCM, these two are not communicating with each other, so we have the transmission control unit and the power control module. Transmission control module and power control module, as well as power control module and the transmission control module. They are not communicating with each other, so we know that we are looking for either one of these modules that is not communicating. And then there's another one here. We have instrument display system gauge. If we look at that, it says that the gauge control module has lost communication with the, um, the automatic transmission, and that is a U0101. By looking at those two different codes, that it's got to be more likely on the transmission side is what we're looking for. And then we have a for the uh, power control module not communicating, that's a 30-6, and the transmission control module not communicating, we have a P0864. So now we will go ahead and find this transmission control module and go over that process to be able to replace said trans transmission control module so that we can get our vehicle to um, run and start. So the transmission control module on this is located right back here at the top. Now, you may not need to remove the whole air box, but you have this air in the intake that comes out and the line makes its 90 degree bend right there so this sits down in here and it makes that um, 90 degree bend and so we have a module that's right down below it and so for us to get better access you'll remove the uh, the intake portion that goes right into the throttle body and that's just a um, regular band clamps and then we have this portion here that goes to the front mount intercooler and it runs right down through here to make that connection. So two number 10 millimeter bolts to undo, one vacuum line, and two electric connectors off of this, as well as one more band clamp, and then we can remove that, as well as removing the standard air box. Air box sits right here with the two bolts that hold it in, and then be able to undo this band clamp here just by loosening this 5.5 millimeter and once you've undone all that and you pull this all up we have a bit better access to be able to get to the transition transmission control module all right so we also have this heater hose down but I just pop it out of the clip it gives us a little bit more space we have our connector for the transmission control module we need to press the safety lock tab and now we'll be able to open up that clamp and pull that off and then it's a series of three number 10 bolts to be undone to remove that whole transmission control module. All right, so we have the three bolts to hold that in have been removed. And now we'll be able to remove this transmission control module and this is the uh, transmission control module to be replaced if it needs to be um, come if you come to that diagnosis by checking the codes and the symptoms that it won't go into gear or come out of gear and you're not having any communication there is a possibility that this has gone bad or something in the uh, connection so you'll want to make sure that you and uh, check out the electrical connector so if that's come to your determination and you've uh, popped this off to replace it and or get it completely tested, then we'll replace. So you take the new one, you just gotta get it back in there.
Okay, so we've installed the three bolts. And tighten them up. Then this clamp is one that you press on once you get it pressed in and then you can um, close the clamp and it locks into place. And so that is the, the clamp is in there locked into place. And now you would go ahead and reinstall the, the hoses that you may have moved out of the way. You have to put in the air box um, hose here from your throttle body out through here and then all the electric connectors that you undid to uh, remove that and then you'll be able to test it. We're going to go ahead and see if we now have communication with that and if the vehicle will function the way it needs to. It, is, it should start. It's not going to start great, but it should start and then we would know and roll out that that was all that we needed to replace. Okay, so we've come back into the vehicle and now turn on the key allow everything to go through the uh, initial setup and setting. So we have a good start here that our parking icon up here, right here that tells us whether we're in park, um, that is good. We can also see the reverse. So the gear selection is working and now it does start. So. We run over the process, we're replacing the transmission control module. The vehicle does start and run. Um, we still have some components to put back on. So we just noticed that it did start and run. It is able to go through the gear selections. And this icon up here that tells us what gear we're in is not in white and blinking through all the gear selections. So we still have um, our scanner hooked up. And so to finalize, even though it does start, we want to go ahead and erase the um, the codes. So it's it's clearing all the codes right now. And ones that were fixed will stay off. Ones that aren't fixed will come right back on. Okay, so it's cleared through all the codes. And like I said, we still have these four in the engine control, but number one is that our TCM control module, the transmission control module, as well as the PCM, they are communicating with each other now. So it was the uh, transmission control module that we replaced, and that has fixed that. Um, these other ones are temporary slash uh, permanent because we haven't hooked those sensors back up. We have one issue in the ABS, which I had nothing to do with what we were working on. Also, this instrument display gauge. Uh, didn't mean to hit that. Um, that's also where uh, one for our transmission was in. And so that is not illuminated anymore. And so we have fixed that portion of what we were looking at. So now we can exit and then go ahead and put the rest of the components back on and back together. And that is some symptoms and some reasons why maybe your transmission control module may need to be replaced. Thanks for watching Eucanic, where you can be the mechanic.